What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to a brand new video. So, recently I bought a fisheye lens. I mentioned it in a past video, um, and I was super stoked. I was like, hey, I got a fisheye lens, now I can film these um, talking shots and get like a lot in the frame, you know, not have um, the, the lens so close to my face. But when I was filming my last video, I actually dropped my camera and it landed right on my my new lens so i actually um kind of broke it um there's not much damage as you can tell it's just a little bit broken right here um so you know you know that that really shouldn't cause any problems with the lens right the lens should still work because i kind of just you know you know hit the side and you know cracked it a little bit um didn't crack the lens though didn't crack that at all only hit the side but when I turned my camera on and tried to film, the lens was all like messed up. It would not focus on certain things. It would only focus, you know, um, if I put the lens very close to an object, it would focus on it that way. But um, this is also a manual focus. So like I would be like manually focusing it, trying to get it to like focus on an object from far away and it just would not focus at all. So I think when I dropped it, it kind of broke the inside of the lens as well. Which really sucks because I was so hype about this lens and, you know, I dropped it. Um, but that's fine, I still have this lens. So I'm going to be using my old one for now. And, you know, I'm going to wait on buying a new one. Because maybe I could go to, like, Best Buy and actually get the, the lens fixed or something. But I'm going to wait on purchasing a new one. Um, but it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> it was a good run with that one. Um, can't believe I already, you know, cracked it after a few weeks, I would say, of having the lens. <laughs> so, besides me completely breaking my brand new fisheye lens, the good news for this video is that I'm going to be creating a brand new graffiti style painting. So you guys just saw the design that I created in my sketchbook and that is the design that I'm going to be using for this painting and I'm actually going to be using an old canvas that has an old painting on it for this graffiti style painting. Um, I'm basically just going to be spray painting over this design and creating something new and it's going to be dope. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video.
Alright guys, so I just finished up with the painting and I am super stoked with how it looks. I'm about to get some cinematic shots for you guys so you can see the fully finished painting and you know, all the details that are involved within the painting. This was a great painting session and I think the painting looks great. There's a lot of colors involved and um, it's basically just, you know, how I normally do my graffiti paintings. Very, uh, very colorful. There's a lot of splatter paint, and um, there's a lot of cool details and all of that jazz. So I'm going to, again, get some cinematic shots for you guys so you can see the painting all finished. And yeah, so that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, be sure to give this video a like and to subscribe for more content. Also, follow me on my Instagrams, at Rinzy.10 and at Rinzy's Films. And check out my website renexart.com there's a lot of cool stuff on there that i'm sure you guys would enjoy and yeah that concludes this video see you guys in the next one peace out Alright guys, so I just finished up with the painting and my camera is gonna die. Give me one momento.